So I was recently watching a, a video of a presentation by David Cole of MapQuest, and he was talking about uh, how they were using OpenStreetMap data in Europe, and then he talked about the United States, and he said one of the, a few of the reasons why they don't aren't able to do routing in the U.S. is because of inadequate turn directions and addressing information. So that got me thinking, how can I uh, pull together open data or public data uh, for my city and uh, contribute to OpenStreetMaps? Um, so that the address information gets in there. Um, so what follows here is a short presentation of how, I, how I've done that. So uh, just zoom into the area here. Um, I live in Boulder, Colorado, United States of America. And I live in this neighborhood, uh, the south end of town. And I want to put in uh, street addresses into there. Um, so at first I familiarized myself with uh, OpenStreetMaps addressing schema. And then I had to go get the data, so I went to the City of Boulder website and uh, downloaded parcel information. Um, and then to view that parcel information, I used a tool from Safe Software called FME. Um, it's a very powerful extract um, transform load tool that supports over 250 formats, uh, OpenStreetMap format being one of those. So when I download the data, uh, the parcel data. This is for the entire uh, city of Boulder and for this demonstration it was going to take quite a while to process all that so um, I basically clipped out an area and that's what I'm going to use for this demo. If I select uh, a parcel pretty much the only information that uh, comes from the shapefile is this assessor ID. There's no address information. Um, what I really want to do is I get a house number and a street name at each address. It turns out the way to do that is uh, go to the Boulder Boulder County uh, Assessors page and they essentially have a get request and if you put in the, the, uh, the corresponding uh, prop parcel number with the letter R in front of it it gives you uh, an HTML document that you can then um, process to get the address information, you get the street number and then the street name. Uh, so that's what I did. Um, but there's also um, questions about I guess license. So I checked the license uh, information from the city of Boulder and they had no license uh, restrictions um, and I double checked by sending a note to um, the GIS department and they confirmed that as well. I found uh, for the county I, I found nothing that said the data was, was copyright um, but you know if someone finds that it is copyright please please let me know. Um, all this data upgrade upload is in a change set so we can easily take it out. So then I use the FME tool and I basically um, go through this quickly. I, I clipped out, I took parcels in and I clipped them out based on that outline that I had drawn. Then I convert each of the parcel areas into a point. In this case it's the center point. And then I put in some default attributes like the city and the country and the source. Each node is going to have that in the future. Uh, then I put together the, uh, the get request um, with the assessor ID. After that I make the request and then I do some parsing um, on the resulting HTML document to um, get out the house number in the street and then I send it to an OSM file as nodes that are tagged. Uh, the next step then is to open up JOSM because FME doesn't actually write the data um, directly to OpenStreetMap. Um, I prefer to use JOSM uh, for the validation stuff there. So here I've loaded in uh, the data and I'll click on some just to make sure the attribute information came across as I wanted. You notice I put in a website um, link. Um, that'll be useful later when, when, um, when we want to click on that, that node uh, to, to pop up a website. So I have all that. I'll do the validation. No problem. Um, upload. And then off we go and uh, upload the changes. Uh, for the purposes of this demo, I've already done the upload. Now if you zoom in, there it is in OpenStreetMap. There's another cool link, uh, Open Link Map. Um, just discovered this the other day. And if we go here and say, show me the links, I can click on an address and bring up the assessor information. That's pretty cool. So that's the end of my demo. Here's my contact information. Um, give me a shout or give me comments. Thanks.